So today we're gonna do something just a little bit different. Um, we're gonna do. I think that this one's gonna be like the uh, the beginner's guide yeah. to wizards. Cause so, I mean, we've just played a lot. But. Yeah, we played a lot of wizards. We know a lot. So we're about to impart our knowledge. Knowledge. Throwing that meme right there. Knowledge. <laughs> you know what's better than a Ferrari? <sighs> knowledge. Anyways, we got All some. Right. Uh, we got a couple beginner builds for you guys, and we have a couple advanced builds for you yeah, guys. Yeah, we're going to get into the advanced Quote, unquote, ones advanced, later. Yeah. But, uh, so, best place to start, I'm going to start with mine. It's probably the most um, kind of basic noob builds, because I'm a basic noob, but, like, it yeah. works. If you're bad at dodging, if you're bad at, like, ending, I mean, like, sustaining through fights, like, you're taking a lot of damage, and you just want something to, like, keep you going, yeah. and get further and further to get those, uh those uh, crystals yeah uh, this will get you pretty far yeah that's why i use it because like i'm not really that great at dodging but i'm good at hitting mm -hmm. and that's what this one is so yeah. i'm gonna start here you're gonna want to use awe because awe gives you the highest crit chance and there's a few other robes that give you crit chance i know it doesn't really tell you but awe gives you the most crit chance and that's yeah. what you want the crit damage is okay but the goal of this build isn't to kill things faster it's to get the crit to go off. Yeah. All about that chance. Yeah. The damage is nice. Yeah. But you'll see why in like literally one second. Yeah. Why we want the chance for so, the damage. So the item that you're going to want to use for this one is the vampire's eyeglasses. They're right here. And every critical hit you, you land, you regenerate health. And the health, it's one health. But you can crit on the heals. For two health. Sometimes you can get three. Sometimes three. And any crit chance increase increases your chance to get those. Yeah. And for the crit chance build, I like to use lightning. Because lightning, it does more smaller hits of damage it, over time. Yeah, it has the most ticks in any of the spell categories. Yeah, so like if like, something's fire's on fire... Fire's pretty close, mm -hmm. but like fire doesn't always go off as much as uh, shock does. Mm -hmm. I, at least that's how I see it. And the one, the, the Arcana I was going to, like, re recommend, more mostly melee. This is going to be a close range build. Yeah. Uh, because melee has a higher chance of critting than range. Yep. If you didn't know that, now you know. Ah. So, yeah, <laughs> knowledge. So I use the Spark Contact. The greatest thing about the Spark Contact is the last hit in the, uh, in the combo. That little um, area thing can hit things farther away from you. So, like, maybe it's an enemy you don't really want to get this close to, but you still want to hit him with that. You and can it hits get it multiple. With, mm -hmm, and it's, like, a little arc. So, like, anything mm -hmm. in front of you, you can do exactly what I'm doing in a hallway, and, like, you keep backing up and just knocking them back with that thing. So, yeah. like, they can't get past. And then, uh, for the dash, it's really up to personal preference. Yeah. I like the circuit line. And I like the one to the right of it, because, uh... So, like, there's two different types. Like, this one, you just dash through an enemy, and it shocks them, and it puts on the, the shock. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just basic. If you just want to go through enemies, yeah, just... it lets you do that. Yeah, and that, that that's pretty nice. That's without any, like, no skill build. Like, if you guys are bad at the game, that's what you want. Mm -hmm. There's the Thunder line, which I've had mixed results with. It's a newer one, yeah. Yeah. So like, it's a, if you're, I think this one is better for if the enemies are at you, and you're going away. But, like... Don't like make a mistake. This spell is very slow compared to the other spells. Cause, like if they're if the enemies are moving, they have a pretty good ability to dodge that. So like, yeah, like look, it, you have to be right on top of them, and they have to be not moving very fast. So it's it's a it's a big AOE, but trade off is it's slow. And it's got two charges. So like, let's say you're uh, you dash and you're like, oh no, another enemy. You can dash away. Yeah. Like, and it, it still does the thing. Uh, and then we have the circuit line dash. Yeah. I, I like this one because it gets three charges and you're able to like set something up to cover a larger area. Yeah. So it can this be used... This does take a little bit more skill and planning. Mm -hmm. So this is like for the better players, quote unquote. Not really though. Yeah. But it's like, even if, even if you're just like, let's say you're fleeing, like you can set those in there and that's like just a straight line. Yeah. If, like just cover the center mm -hmm. of the hallway so yeah. they can't run it yet. Or if you're, uh, I'm waiting for the cooldown. Or like if you, if you know that you need to like set a trap, you just like go in, you yeah. know, nothing can walk like past that. Nothing. That. Yeah. Without you getting your hits in. And once the lightning hits them, so if it's just like that, they get staggered and stuff. Yeah. So you're able to hit them more. So that's the one that I'm going with. Your standard. standard 
because of how close range you have to get with most of the attacks, I go with lightning aspect. Mostly because it's a lightning defensive thing. So it's like just merely being in your presence, things yep. are getting shocked. And they have to, most enemies have to come up and hit you. And when they try and hit you, they're going to be shocked. Yes, there's no contact damage. In yep. this in this game, they have to make an attack at you. Yep. Which, with the slimes, I guess it's the only one that's kind of eh, Because their move is their attack yeah. because they hop but they still they're gonna touch you before they hit you technically so i think they get shocked before they actually yeah. hurt you and you can crit like you can heal off of yeah. this so. any type of shock damage you can crit mm -hmm. so let let me let me wait for that let me just get a confirmed green number man you're cr oh there it is yep i saw the green so that whenever you see that green one that means you healed one hp and it may not seem like a lot but Think about like getting your crit chance up with a bunch of items. Yeah. You'll be getting those green numbers constantly and like healing up 50 health within like a floor. Yeah. Another item to look for is the Dark Katana. Dark this Katana. One. Dark Katana. Triples crit chance for all melee arcana. And this is why we go for the melee build with aside the light. from the range mm -hmm. lightning builds. And there's also this one, the analytical monocle. That Love just it. increases crit chance. That's, that's just good. That's just like all good around. It's beautiful. Um, And then finally, the B is the dash. Dash, and you just like connect to different enemies. It's yep. all melee. It's all really you fast. You are invincible during this. But something to note look like okay on the character there's the little uh little arrow thing that is where if enemies are shooting for you if enemies are attacking you they will still go right there right to where you've started the, so the attack. so you need to make sure you are like watching yo, your body yeah, watch where you're going to be and be able to dash away yeah. now there is a small delay like when it's finishing before you can dash again yeah. so there's a moment hiccup and then, you know, the enhanced version is just, like, a lot of dashes really fast. Yeah. it's It does a lot of damage, to be honest. Like, it may not mm -hmm. look like you saw a lot of numbers there, but every single hit, like, you'll see a boss's health just drop. And then with the crit chance, it's mm. it just gets better and better. Yeah, that's our crit build. Look at the gameplay next. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now it's time to just show just a little bit of testing. I'm going to let the... I'm going to let the first enemy strike me um we're just, gonna we're gonna hurt ourselves to show you the healing capabilities yeah just because it's like when the game's all chaotic and stuff you don't really notice the healing all that much until yeah. you're there so what a first room oh of course it's a mimic <laughs> that's hilarious actually so just watch the health bar kind of like you can kind of watch his gameplay on how he moves around to like get some tactics but try not to like miss as much as he does. Yeah, it's just that like this mimic is is like real pain in the ass. Mimics are really annoying for melee builds, just so you know. But uh, so we're down to 441. Next room with some ice knights. Oh. With the shield, you can't stagger them. Go quick. Let's see if we can get this. But yeah, we got like 10 HP during that last fight. In that one combo, yeah, you, you guys, got four health. Yeah, you guys know how difficult those things are. And yeah. just that ability murked it. I hate this room, by the way. It's a beautiful room. But yeah, you see how he's just like kind of like touching them a little bit with his uh, auto attack? You, that's how you're staying safe with this melee build. You just press the B and then back out. Or like do the auto attack and back out. Oh, and He is backed into a corner right now dashes through it's really good to save your uh lightning aspect for when you need to go through enemies don't just like use it when you're just auto attacking i'd say yeah and this is the the dash is a really is really good for back pedaling yeah because it gives you more time to uh get distance yep and like we said before it like just layers out traps i swear if this is a mimic but yeah like he went down to like 400 and 15 health or something and he's already back at 441 that's pretty good for someone who's getting hit a lot yeah no and like and like i get hit a lot it's that's fine yeah. but that's why i have this build yeah like you have this build because i get hit a lot and it's nice to just be able to know that i'm not going to die because i don't like to dodge <laughs>
hope y'all learned something. And uh, peace out.